Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura. This is the third part of the preview for Friday night's sale. I do have a lot of jewelry. Um, I may not show every piece because um, I'm still making a few things. But anyway, I have several bracelet patterns to show. And here is the first one. It is called Hanover from 1901 there's poppy flowers in the front I have this one and one unmade um, this one is a larger size so I can cut it down so we can get, we'll have definitely two of those I also have May Queen in all the sizes and this one also has a pair of earrings available too I have rose and leaf, beautiful bouquet of roses and leaves on each side. I have this one and three others that can be made. That one's from 1937. I have starlight rose, which is from 1953. I have this one and two others in your custom size. Um, knowing your snug wrist measurement or the person that you may want to give a gift to, um, that's the information I'll need to get the correct bracelet size for you. This one is new. It is called Tiger Lily. There's some lily flowers, very detailed. Um, Lily Flowers. It is from 1901, so it's a true antique. And then you have another lily on the side and these beautiful um, grooves in the back. It's even pretty on the inside. So um, I bought 18 of these spoons. Two were turned into a pendant, which I'll show in a little bit too. So do the math, I guess. So I can do eight of these, eight of these bracelets and I can do all the sizes. I love that pattern. Okay, Romance from 1952. Lily flowers, kind of an Art Nouveau style. And this is a Holmes and Edwards pattern. Um, and they do that, they are the ones that coined the term inlaid silver. So you get lots of silver on that one. Even These are all silver plate, by the way. And bracelets are $24. You can select some charms to be added as well. And this one is Heritage from 1953. It's very beautiful kind of Victorian vibes on this one. I can do all sizes in this one as well. Several teaspoons that are not made. Okay, let me juggle. You, you, if you could see how much jewelry I have sitting here. <laughs> Um, but we'll get through it. I wanted to show, okay, I'm going to show this other bracelet. This is a new pattern I've never worked with before. It's called Met Rose. Met Rose. Embossed roses all the way around. Um, this one... Is from the 1930s. I could not come up with an exact year. This pattern is out there, but it is not easy to find. So from the 1930s, and it also has a matching ring option available. It is thick. It's not going to make a great band. It's better as the bypass. So if anybody's looking for a matched set, I will have those. The size for the ring would be size, and you're hearing all that noise because I have all the spoons that I have. I have 12 of them all ready to go. That way when something is claimed at the sale, I just put your name on it, actually on a cubby and put it in the cubby. And invoicing goes very, very fast that way. Um, I'm gonna be using the cubby system. Okay, earrings. Earrings, earrings. Some new options are York Rose. 
Um, these are the heaviest earrings I have. They are 0.3 ounces. York Rose is from 1910. So a true antique. And of course they have the uh, mill grain edge, which I absolutely love. Two inches long and 0.3 ounces for these. I have two pairs. I have First Love from 1937. I have one of those. I have one of the Romford, which is um, coined wheat from 1939. These are one and seven eighths inches long, 0.2 ounces. I have a pair of the Danish Queen, 1944 pattern. Um, I can also make bracelets to match these earrings. I have plenty of silverware. Here's the May Queen earrings that would match one of the bracelets I was just showing. And these, you may or may not recognize these. These are the earrings that I have been wearing for the last year, but I took the ear wires off and put new ear wires on and I cleaned the spoons and I'm going to be letting these go. Um, I've enjoyed them very, very much. It's not easy for me to let them go because I absolutely adore them. They were great conversation makers too. But I am going to let them go. I made something else um, for myself. I'm going to wear them Friday and I'll kind of explain. Um, they were from a pattern I really love. The pattern was engraved with somebody's name. And when I ended up cutting the spoons and drilling, it looks like the name is Edith, which is my grandmother's name. And it's kind of in a French script. And I love the French style. So I have some new earrings in that French script style that looks like my grandmother's name is on them. So I don't need more than one. <laughs> I will let those go if anybody is interested. Here is some Apple Blossom earrings from 1906. These are 2.25 inches long. These beautiful um, kind of Victorian style. I have several stick earrings available. These um, are from the stems of the York Rose from 1910 with the mill grain edge that I absolutely adore. Um, these bottoms are rose quartz. Um, and this rose quartz is from Madagascar. You can kind of tell with my white backdrop how saturated the color is. I can change those drops to a different gemstone. And I'll show you some more options. Um, same silverware pattern. I have lapis at the bottom. Um, these are two and three quarters inches long and they are about 0.2 ounces is their weight. 0.2 ounces. Again, the bottoms could be swapped out. Here's the same thing with some amethyst nuggets at the bottom. I have a narcissus stick earrings with cultured pearls at the bottom. Then I have these little Demitasse spoons and I have Flash Labradorite at the bottom. I have Magnolia, which is from 1951. And these gemstones are light blue opal. And then I have silverware from 1904. It's named Wild Rose. Um, I do have a ring in this pattern as well. I didn't pull it, but you guys, during the sale, you are welcome to make requests. Um, two and a half inches long, and this is the green. Oh, yikes. I can't think of the gemstone. I know that you guys watching know what this is. It's the green amber, green amber. My green amber um, came with a certificate of authenticity. It does um, fluoresce under black light. And I also did the hot poke test. There is a video in my YouTube channel. Um, it looks like there's something orange in the screen, which are my um, vice grips. And I do perform the, the smell test to, um, so we can all be sure that these are genuine um, amber beads that I've used. Okay, so those are the earrings. I had a request for Demitas earrings. And I'm going to go polish and make those. I hope to get that done before today is over. Um, the day is moving quick. 
Day is moving quick. Okay, here's another. This is a new. The next patterns I'm going to. Well, I'll try to tell you if this is new. This is the first time it's being shown. Okay, so this is called Western. It's also known as Warren. It is from 1900. It's like a Victorian Rococo style. Um, size 8 through 14. It is 3 16 inch wide in the front. These are created from teaspoons. Okay, this ring is going to be $15. I have four unmade in these spoons. Um, so we can also have the option up until everything is claimed to maybe even do a matching bracelet um, in this pattern. So there's that one. That's a new pattern. So for those of you who um, have a lot, you'll know that one you don't have. And I did already show the, the Met Rose. Here's the Met Rose Bypass. Um, the Met Rose ring is going to be $16, and the bracelet's going to be $25. The rest of the bracelets were $24. So there's that one. And then this one I'm going to show again for Mother's Day or for the graduate. This is the Unknown Maker with, um, there's a few shorts out there on this one with the um, violet, yeah, the violet flower. I can do the bypass or the band. I have several, four that are unmade. So if they don't sell as a ring, I can make a bracelet. Many of you have this ring, maybe you want the matching bracelet. So I'll be bringing those four. Okay, I'm going to move to the next tray. This is the ring that matches one of the spoon bracelets named Starlight Rose. I have it in the bypass style. So someone's wanting the match set. Size. Okay, here is a pendant that matches the um, Tiger Lily bracelets. I can get you a good picture of that. Two of the 18 pieces that I purchased had damage further up on the handle. And so I cut below that and turned these into pendants. I do have two. The pendant is 10. If you want the little ball chain, it's going to be 12. I had an odd piece of romance with the lilies. There was a bracelet and a ring that matches this. I would be happy to turn this into a pendant if anyone wants that. It would be just the ten dollars and here's the um, matching ring so you could get a whole set it's a little heavy for earrings but if somebody wanted earrings I will pull my teaspoons out and we'll make that happen okay I still had a few baby spoons that I haven't um, created yet here's a very simple plain ring it's a size 9 right now can go up to an 11. That ring is going to be um, 15. I'm just going to try to show it next to something else. Sometimes when you um, have a very fancy ring, having something simple next to it works. That probably isn't the best example, but I think you understand what I'm saying. Okay, another baby spoon ring is eternally yours. This is from 1941. It is a pierced design. Um, it is a baby spoon, so this spoon is pretty thick for a ring. And here's what it looks like. It's marked on the inside. Eternally yours. I have had some very creative men in my Etsy shop purchase the first love and the eternally yours patterns for their... Um, for their loved one and I just thought that was the sweetest thing. I do want to also throw this out. Um, I'm going to put the link to my Etsy shop down in the description. You are welcome to go there. I'm not asking for a purchase. What I'm saying is if you see something in my Etsy shop that you would like me to show at the live sale, go ahead and make those requests. Um, you will be getting my live sale price. The price on Etsy is higher so I'm not asking you to purchase there. But I wanted to throw that out as kind of a special offering during the sale. 
that if you want to buy something from Etsy, I will show it. Okay. This is another ring that no one, you guys have not seen yet, from me anyway. This is from 1886. It is called a Syrian head, and that is a multi-motif pattern. So some of the um, faces on these multi-motifs are different than this one. Um, and this is a Demitasse spoon, a small Demitasse spoon. I love the detail here. And it is marked on the back. The Rogers. These are a pattern um, I had to pay more for. So these are going to be $27 for the rings. Um, band style only because the handle is short. Size 7 through 10 and a half. And it's okay if no one um, gets them. I completely understand. These will go in the Etsy shop. Patterns like this that are super unusual and kind of collectible, um, they will bring traffic to my shop, which is a good thing. So, but I always offer my things to you guys first. All right, so the sale starts at 6 Eastern and about an hour and a half in. So at 7.30 Eastern, I'm going to show the two sterling pieces I have. That way, if someone can't stay for the whole time, at least you'll know what time the sterling pieces are going to be shown. I'm going to set my alarm. Okay, so the first one is this owl. I think this is the coolest ring I've ever had um, before. And Little Red Riding Hood is a close second. But this is sterling. It's marked sterling. On the inside, it was a Demitasse spoon, so it's like size 10 through 11.5. It's a 10 right now, and I can go up to 11.5. I am on the hunt for more. Um, I'm going to start this one. This is going to be, if more than one person comes in, we will just take it to an auction. Everything else is buy it now. Um, so $55 is where I'm going to start this. If you want to go do some research... Um, this one is marked RW and S Sterling, which is R. Wallace and Son. It's a Sterling Owl ring. And this is the Demitasse, not teaspoon, Demitasse. Just so you know. Okay, another new one. I just got this one. This is hot off my hammer. Just made this. I'm going to show you the spoon before bending as well. But very asymmetrical. It's Walker and Hall. I spent some time researching the marks on the um, back side of this one, and I'll go over those. It's a Victorian Rococo style Demitasse spoon. I'm going to do size 7 through 11.5. So if you like Demitasse and the larger size, here's an opportunity to get an 11 and a half um, for a Demitasse. Now, this pattern is super old, and it was from, it's made in Sheffield, England. And sometimes I cannot find really old patterns made in other countries. It's hard for me to find the name, and I could not get the pattern name on this one. Um, but the marks did tell me it was Sheffield, England, Walker and Hall. I also did the date mark on these. Let me get a spoon out here. These marks. It's W and H in the pennant. And I can tell by these marks that the date is somewhere between 1853 and 1920. I know that's a broad range, but at least we know it is an antique. Okay, so I do have six of these. The one I made plus five more. And this one is going to be $16. This is a $16 ring, which really this one could be much higher, but I did get a good deal on this pattern. Beautiful. Okay, there's that. Um, here's another new pattern that you have not seen yet. This one has an iris. It's a beautiful iris pattern on it. It is from 1911. You can tell that I really, really like the old patterns. The pattern name is One. It's spelled out O-N-E. That is the pattern name, 1911, One. An antique Victorian pattern. It is 11 16 inches wide. It is a teaspoon. 
and you can select size 7 through 14. This one will be $15. I got an exceptional price on these, so this one will be $15. And this beautiful ring. And I have six. Okay, the other sterling piece, and I'm going to show this sterling at the same time that I show the owl. Um, it's a Demitasse spoon, and I have not made it yet because I want to wait till I know what the size will be. I want to cut the spoon handle the correct length. 1900 is the year. The pattern is called Daffodil. Um, sometimes pattern names are repeated, but this is a different maker, and it's also sterling. I'll show you the mark. Um, Manchester. So we have your sterling mark, the two birds, and then in the shield is the M. Okay, so it can be a band. It's too short for a bypass. Size 7 through 10 in a band for sterling ring. I got an exceptional deal on this for sterling. It's a solid sterling. So the normal sterling price for me is $44, but this one is going to be $34. I'm going to pass on that good deal to you guys. So $34 for a sterling band, custom made in your size. Okay, there's that. I'm not doing terrible. I've got through four trays. <laughs> At the end of the sale, I will go over how my sale runs. That way, if you've been with me for a while, you don't need to hear that repetitiveness of how I run a sale. I do want to say um, we have some severe weather predicted for to happen during the sale. Um, if for some reason um, due to lightning or high winds or hail or something, if I should have to cancel, I am going to um, have a rain date of Saturday, same time, but on Saturday, and I'll make a whole new a whole new thumbnail. So a rain out date, um, Saturday at six o'clock. And I'll let you guys know, but if it's lightning and thundering or hail, um, I'm just um, going to have to take cover. <laughs> I have a lot of windows by my, uh, where I do the live sales. And when I do live sales, if you're new, I do camera up. You, you will see my face, my, how I hand my hands and, 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 um, my expressions as I show you these things. So this is just how I have to do a pre-record. Okay. I have a few that you guys have seen, but I only have one left. And instead of photographing and listing one, I'm going to try one more time um, to sell these here. And then after this, they will be listed in the Etsy shop. Okay. So this is from 1915. It's named Grecian. The, the Greek key is kind of what we coin it. It is a size eight. $15 and I could go up to eight and a half. I could go down just a little bit, but this is the last one of that. So thank you to everyone who purchased that really great ring. Okay. I have one. This is another, no, this is the last Demitas distinction. It's a Pierce Demitas from 1951. Um, it's a size seven and this is the last one. So size seven, if anyone's needing a seven, seven sixteenths inches wide in the front, and this is $15, last one. Okay, another pattern that I had great feedback on, and I myself really enjoyed it. This was from an iced teaspoon handle. It was the, um, iced teaspoon handles are very long. So this was the end closer to the spoon bowl. Romford from 1939. A little bypass. I have three of these left. This one is a seven. These make great midi or pinky rings. Um, so this one is closer to a five or a four and I can adjust a little bit. I have these two and the other one, $15 each. I'll have my ring mandrel at the sale. Okay, so Easter Lily. I have a couple of these left. 1907 Easter Lily or called just Lily, either one. Um, it is 11 16 inches wide. Beautiful Art Nouveau style. This one is an $18 ring. And this one, $18. I do have two spoons. 
that are not created yet. So if nobody is interested in the ring, I know some of you already have this ring. Um, I can make a bracelet from these. So um, that is an option. Also, um, you guys have seen these before, the magnetic spoon hooks, right? Um, I have several of these with the double magnet because those magnets were a little bit smaller. I did find some very, very strong magnets, so I put one. This was actually holding more weight than the double magnet. Um, I put this on a metal cabinet in my garage and it was holding a metal stein up. So um, I, got, I did make six more of these. I have several hooks to show. They are going to be $5 each. So there's those. And I actually meant to show this first thing. I will be offering my um, handmade magnetic necklace converters. Okay, this, this part right here is magnetic through and through, and it has these stainless steel lobster claws that I wire wrapped on. Okay, so you can change your current necklace into a magnetic clasp. This is the super strong strength. I have never shown this to you guys before. These are so strong, it is very hard to pull apart. You have to like crack and put your fingers back behind and just and crack it. This is great for a very heavy um, necklace. I do have also the very strong strength. This will hold like probably this necklace would be fine with a very strong strength. So I'm going to be bringing um, both sizes. You can select double lobster claw, one lobster claw, or no lobster claws. The no lobster claw might be good if you're going to convert a bracelet. Um, if you have a necklace like this one, that already has a lobster claw on it, you probably only need one lobster claw to hook to the other loop. Or if you're making necklaces and don't have any clasp, that's when you would want to use the double. And I'm telling you all that ahead of time so you can kind of plan ahead um, if this is something that you would find useful or not. But I will be bringing those forth um, during the live sale. Okay, angels, angel ornaments. Um, it, for shipping, if you buy two jewelry items or more, uh, shipping is $4. If you purchase three jewelry items or more, shipping is free. The ornaments, um, no matter how many ornaments you purchase, shipping will be $4. Because um, they're kind of a lower priced item. And on the sun catchers, which were in a previous preview, like I said, Smaller sun catcher shipping is $6 no matter how many you purchase. And the larger, um, heavier, like the tea kettles or the wind chimes, um, shipping's 10 or less. If you get an invoice from me, you will never have shipping over $10. So if I wrap up a tea kettle and the shipping comes to $8.59 on pirate ship, I'm going to charge you $8.59. I don't make money on my shipping. Okay, so the ornaments. I think this is a good time to show them for Mother's Day or for the graduate. Now this angel, her face is the June birthstone. Her crown, her halo, excuse me, is a AB coated check glass cry ring. And then I use the um, June birthstone wings. And then the body is an as for crystal, has the AB coating on it. And I do have the face in all 12 birthstones. I don't have them all made ahead of time. I do make them to order. Um, I have several to show, but here's what your birthstones look like. I have January, February, March. April is clear. A lot of people order clear just because they want clear. May, June, July, August, September, October is a pale pink, November, and December. Those are all the colors. Okay, um, the other angel ornaments I have are from a spoon handle. I have several different patterns. These are great. All the angel ornaments are great hanging on those magnetic hooks on your refrigerator, too. So we have this one. Now, this is the clear face with the AB 
I can do this with all of the birthstones and the angel ornaments are $10. Here's another pattern in July's birthstone. You do get the hook as well. So this is a July face in a different spoon pattern. And I have lots of them here ready to go. Even more than that, didn't pick them all up. I have this stainless steel. I have two of these in the stainless steel. It's March birthstone. And I have this pattern in stainless steel. I have several of these that might be the back side. And that's the April birthstone. So I have those. Okay. Angel brooches. The angel brooches are a jewelry item. I'm going to go over them kind of quick. This is a daffodil with a tiger's eye. Flashes yellow. And there's the brooch. There's that one. Um, I have Queen Bess with amethyst face. Daffodil. Rose quartz. I have the lily. This would match the other lily items. And you can see the rainbow um, moonstone flashes. Um, this little loop at the top makes it possible for you to also hang this as an ornament. And this one, I cannot remember the name of this pattern. It's on the tip of my tongue. It also has the rainbow moonstone. And here's another with the moonstone. This is a um, very old pattern from 1860-ish. I have it written down. Um, actually, these are what the ones I'm going to go make some earrings out of the rest of those spoons here in a minute. It's moss rose with the moonstone. First love with the moonstone and then another first love with tiger's eye and I'm going to be bringing those too I have a few other things in this tray that are going to be add-ons add-ons are items that are lower priced um, they're shown at the end of the sale and they won't change your shipping it, they're they're sold to people who will already claim something during the first part of the sale. It's like an add-on if you've already purchased something. Um, so that can be kind of fun. I'm also, for the first time, I'm going to do a recap at the end of the sale. I haven't done that ever before. Okay, I think I got through that. I did good. All right, awesome. Yay! Okay, so I'll see you guys Friday at the sale. No pre-claims. Um, you can claim during the sale, or you, if you're re-watching, you can claim um, after the sale's over down in the comment section. Um, I, those comments that you guys put down there, I get those wherever I'm at, whether I'm sitting at the computer working or if I'm on my phone. But I am going to quickly go over how I run my sales. Invoicing is through PayPal. You do not need a PayPal account. Um, if you're new, the JOT form is either down in the description and I also put it a link to the job form um, up in the blue box during the live sale that will guide you through the information I need so that I can invoice you so I will need your email and how I can ship your items out um, so your bailing address because I use the post office also there's a place to put a note to me if you have any questions or maybe you want to put your bracelet size or your ring size or whatever notes you have for me, um, that'd be a good place too to let me know that you don't have a PayPal account. Um, I know then to send you a link via email. I'll send you a link to the invoice. It's very easy to do. You check out as a guest using your credit or debit card or however you pay. Okay, so shipping is through Pirate Ship. That's how I get the best rate, but I do use flat rate shipping and I ship from Nebraska. So I'm pretty centrally located. Um, I understand that in life, sometimes things come up. So if for some reason you cannot pay the invoice or you need more time, or you just need to remove a few items, what, whatever, you don't even need to tell me why, but just communicate with me via email privately. 
um, and just let me know that there's been a change or circumstances come up. Um, it doesn't mean you can't come back sometime in the future. You can most certainly come back. Oh, <laughs> there's other things. Um, and if you are new, um, come join in the chat. Um, if you have questions, I'm there to answer them. And my chatters are very experienced. They will also welcome you and help to answer any questions you may have. All packages get a tracking number. Okay. So, and that is sent to you by email. So you will have a way to track your packages. And one of the reasons I use PayPal is PayPal has a phone number. Um, if I never ship your item, you can call PayPal and let them know. So you have buyer protection and I have seller protection. Like if I do ship your item and I have a tracking number and the post office shows that it was sent to the right address, um, it, it protects us both. So that is really one of the reasons I, I do very much um, like to use PayPal. Um, they are the safest, securest. I never see your credit card information. But again, if you have any questions, um, you're welcome to send them by email. I'll put it in the description. You can make a comment or I'll see you at the sale. Thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful day.